Now the Neo November deliveries are out and the same on the screen Neo saw total deliveries for the month of November of 15,959 Ladies and gents, this is over 12% increase year over year which therefore result in Neo Total's cumulative delivery from January to November to reach just over 142,000 deliveries now, ladies and gents, these 15,000 or oh, over 15,900 deliveries which you saw today, they're a bit lower than the 16,000 or just over 16,000 deliveries you saw for the month of October. But the good thing is that, of course, when you look into the two months, it appears or it looks like Neo might, uh, of course, see uh, Q4 coming as the second best quarter in terms of deliveries because. Ladies and gents, the two months or the first two months of Q4, which, which is October and November, makes Neo to have total deliveries of just over 31,000. Now, as I've said, this means that now the guidance or going to the guidance, which you are going to get, of course, uh, next week during the Q3 earnings, Neo might therefore deliver vehicles of between or total Q4 deliveries might come around 45, 48,000 of between 45 and 48,000 which will be lower than the Q3, of course, uh, deliveries uh, or total deliveries of that of all of 50 of 55 to 57,000, which is something that, of course, is not good. But ladies and gents, it will still be the second highest deliveries per quarter that has ever that Neo has ever recorded uh, on a quarterly basis. So these 15,959 deliveries, which you saw today. Um, it is a like I said tw over 12 percent increase year over year, and out of these 15,959 vehicles, uh, over 10,400 were SUVs, whereas of course over 5,400 were of course uh, uh, sedans, including shooting brakes or station wagon, which many of you know that Neo has only one station wagon or shooting brake, which is the Neo ET5 Toro, which is selling pretty good, by the way. So, this 15,959 uh, included 10,000 over 10,500 SUVs with 4,000 uh, uh, or over 4,000 uh, uh, sedans, which is something that is not bad. Like, guys, I know, of course, we wanted Neo to be delivering over 20,000 uh, deliveries, like what we saw them doing for the month of July, but. I still think those times will come back. We are still definitely going to see those times coming back from the Neo brand, not the sub brand. Um, but yeah, I think probably not this year because this year we are seeing, of course, uh, the challenges that are coming with, of course, uh, the subsidies not being there. The, 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 of course, the competition, fierce competition that is taking place in China. I mean, there is no doubt that, of course, a lot of people uh, are not buying a lot of Neo cars. They are opting to buy cheap cars like Xpeng, they are opting to buy uh, hybrid cars like uh, Le Auto. Neo it is facing fierce competition but this does not mean that Neo is going to fail or Neo it's set for bankruptcy because 2024 we might see some of the subsidies coming back which will boost of course the Neo sales and also over and above that Neo is going to start selling their sub brand which that again ladies and gents is going to bring in some fierce competition into EV stocks like Xpeng so I'm very excited I'm still hopeful looking forward to remaining bullish long and strong because ladies and gents 142,000 uh, cumulative uh, deliveries year to date it is a pretty good uh, figure as this is 33 percent increase year over year now I, as i've said uh, one of the things that we are looking forward to especially going to next week is the q3 earnings which as per the new ceo during the q2 earnings they're expecting to get a double digits gross margin which should we get that it will be of course a good thing that we will see in neo and also one of the things that we want to see very important is the guidance what is neo or how many vehicles is neo planning to deliver for the month of december we are going to get the rough estimate of that figure in next week's deliveries which makes me to be really excited makes me to cannot wait to finally see of course that report but over and above that the most important figures are the total revenues and of course earnings per share and of course on those two figures we want to see neo beating what analysts expect but as for the cash and cash equivalent we're expecting the cash and cash equivalent 
to increase uh, as that will of course strengthen neo or as that will strengthen neo's balance sheet so otherwise with all that guys i just thought I'd just give it this quick update uh, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise that's all from me and I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey. Before you buy new for the very first time, it is always good that you do your own due diligence that at least you can be comfortable as you are investing onto this stock. Otherwise, that's all from me. And I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey. And God bless you all.